Hide. Go. There. There. Okay. So, if we have three eighths, what we're going to do on our calculators is we're not going to use that fraction button at the top. Okay? I want you to use the division sign. Three is on the top. We're going to divide that by eight. And what do we get? 0 0.375. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay? Now, what if we have 11 eighths? Okay? This is called an improper fraction because the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. But that still doesn't, doesn't um, matter when we're using our calculator to figure this out. Okay? 11 eighths is 11 divided by 8. What is 11 divided by 8? And it looks very similar to the last one. 1.375. Okay? 1.375. Oh, let's go 2 and 5 A's. Let's keep that 8 going on the bottom. Okay? 2 and 5 A's. Now, what this is, is it's 2 plus 5 A's. 2 and 5 A's is really 5 A's. Okay? You are correct, Blake. 2.625, because... 5 divided by 8 is 0 0.625. And if we're taking 2 plus that, we get 2.625. Okay? So most of these, you're not going to have much troubles with. Okay? In the olden days, um, we used to take 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 5, which is 21, divided by 8 to get this. But... I'm fine with going this plus this, okay? So, last one of these, and then we're going to get two decimals back into fractions. Um, well, I, this might not be the last one, but four and one-seventh. That's four plus one-seventh. Now, what do you notice when you take one divided by seven on your calculator? Yeah, you get a lot of numbers behind there. Now, Blake, read the numbers to me again. And actually what happens is it's 0 0.142857142857. One four two eight five seven, and it goes on that pattern forever. There you go, Blake. It's a repeating decimal, so it's four point, and every number that repeats, we put a line over. And since it's six of them that repeat before it starts over again, we put a line over all six of them. Okay. What is one third on your calculator? What's one divided by three on your calculator? Gito, what's one divided by three? One divided by three. Zero point three 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 three, right? And it just keeps going. So, since there's only one digit that's repeating, it's just 0 0.3. Okay. Um, let's 
So let's do this one. Let's do um, 15 20 sevenths. What is 15 20 sevenths? Zero point, oh, it's zero point five. The kid just zero point five repeating, yeah, just like that. Okay, okay, all right. Six at the end, which it, the calculator just rounds it up. Um, what's eight fifteenths? Zero point five two five two five two or zero point. 0 0.535353 or 0 0.53 with just a 3 repeating? Because it's 0 0.533333, like that, right? So this time, it's 0 0.53 with just the 3 repeating, not both of them. Okay? Right? Is that... Is this the number you got, right? Okay, so it's like that. What's seven ninths? Uh, zero point seven, and then the uh, calculator around one. To eight, so zero point seven repeating. What about seven elevenths? Uh, zero point uh, sixty three. Okay, so this time it's zero point six three six three six three. Yada yada. So it's 0 0.63 repeating. Are we good with repeating decimals now? Okay. So that's how they work in general. Okay. Now fractions to decimals. Or that's fractions to decimals. Now decimals to fractions. 0 0.1. Now what did we call this as a name? What's the name of this one? One, one tenth, right? So that basically tells us it's fractional notation. One tenth. Point one is one tenth. Zero point five two is fifty two hundredths, correct? So it's 52 over 100, but we want to reduce that. We want to reduce that fraction, okay? So to reduce that fraction, what's a number that goes into both of these? They're both even, so 2 goes into both of these, right? So you get 26 over 50. They're both even again, so you divide them both by 2. 13 over 25. And no numbers go into both of those. So it's 13.25 over 25. Okay? How many places do I have here? What's the 3? That's the thousands with a TH. So that means we put 783 over 1,000. Now, is there any numbers that go into each of those? Probably not. No. Now, here's where I'm going to teach you a calculator trick with these calculators. So make sure you pay attention here. You're not writing on your marker boards just because you want to play around. Get out your calculators. Open them up. Okay? So, what I want you to do is we're going to go back to this one, 0 0.52. That was 52 over 100, right? So, I want you to type 52, oops, 52, and then I want you to hit your A, B over C button, and then I want you to put 100, and then I want you to press the equals button. And automatically, the calculator will reduce that for you properly.
Okay. So now, does this one reduce? Does 783 over 1,000 reduce? No, it does not reduce. Okay. Okay, 0 0.35. Write that as a reduced fraction on the board, please, and show me. Ulysses, grab your marker board. 0 0.35. Write this as a reduced fraction. Tell him. Reduce. So on your calculadora, calculadora, and then explain that. I'll do it. Yeah. So 35. No, no. So three, five. And then A, B, O, C. And then 100 equals. Okay. See? That's a reduced fraction. There you go. Good. Good. No. Reduced fraction. Not a decimal, man. Gito. Fraction. There you go. You need to do this on your calculator. I told you guys how to do it on your calculator, but you were too busy drawing on your marker board to pay attention. There you go. That's right. Good job. So you put 35 over 100 as a fraction, right? And then when you do it, now it's 35. Hit your A, B over C button, 100, and then your equals button. And it'll reduce the fraction for you. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we've got that down. We know how to reduce fractions. We should be good there. Now, the tougher part is repeating decimals. Zero point five repeating is not five tenths. Okay? So, what you do, here's how we're going to do it in here. Okay? So, 0 0.5 repeating is 0 0.55555 and so on. If there's one decimal repeating, we're going to multiply it by 10. We're going to take this thing by 10. So it's going to be 5.5 repeating. Okay, so that's what 10 times the number is, is 5.5 repeating. The number is 0 0.5 repeating, and then we're going to subtract. Because if we take 5.5 repeating minus 0.5 repeating, we get 5. What's 10 minus 1? 9. And then to get the x alone, we're going to divide by 9. So it's 5 ninths. If you take 5 divided by 9 on your calculator, what are you going to get? 0 0.5 repeating all the way until the 6, so it's 0 0.5 repeating, because the calculator just rounds that last 5 up to a 6. So this is how we find a repeating decimal. If there's 1, let's do it again for if there's 1. So if we have 0 0.8 repeating. So how many, what spot is this? The tenths place, right? So we're going to multiply it by 10. 8.8 .8 repeating. And x is 0 0.8 repeating. We're going to subtract. What's 10 minus 1? 9x equals 8. So we get 8 ninths. If there's two decimals repeating and both of them are repeating, so if we have two decimals repeating and they're both repeating, this is 
35 and the 5 is in the what spot? Hundreds. So that'll be 100. And then if you multiply this by 100, it'll be 35.35 repeating. So this is 0 0.35 repeating. And if we subtract, we get 99x equals 35. And we divide by 99. So it's 35 99 Because what's 35 over 99? 0 0.35 repeating. If there's the same thing, that's the same thing, and it's a thousand then, Blake. Okay, so you just follow the pattern. Okay, so let's do this one. It's three one hundredths repeating. So what number do we put in front? 100 equals, now if we multiply this by 100, it's 3.03 .03 repeating. Three over 99, but this reduces. This fraction reduces. What's three over 99 reduced down to? Darwin. Attention. Yeah. Si. Attention. No coloring. What's three over 99? One over 33. Is one over 33.03030303? Yeah. It sure is. So that's how, that's what we're going to do today. Okay. This is the process. Okay. So basically three things to do because to turn, to turn fractions into decimals, we'll just use our calculator and figure them out. If there is a mixed number, we take that number plus the fraction. So just do the fraction part and then rounding or changing fractions to decimals, we just put the number over its spot. So if it's 35 hundredths, 35 over 100, but repeating decimals, we have to use this process, okay? So basically three things we're doing today on today's worksheet. All right, let me stop my video.